Congratulations, you just solved your first layer. Now, what you need to do is solve your second layer. To do this, all you need to do is take your top, which is your green, turn it upside down, so green's on the bottom, like that. Now blue will be your new top piece. What you want to do is look for any blue cross piece, which is this, 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 or this, which is not blue. So, for example, I will take this white one right here. Now you're going to look at the color under it. That's red. I'm going to match it up with the red side. There. So I have white here and red here. What you're going to want to do is look at your white. Now you look at which side your white is on. No, not on that side. Oh, it's right there. So, now what you're going to do is this algorithm. Because it's on the left side, you do this algorithm. If white was on the right side, you do a totally opposite algorithm, which I'll show you later. So, white's on the left side, we do, so we do this algorithm. Up inverted, left inverted, up, left, up, front, up inverted, front inverted. There, that piece just went right there. Now you find another piece. Cross piece is not blue. Here's one. Yellow. And this is orange. Match it up with orange. There it is. Yellow is on the left side. So we do up inverted. Up inverted. Up. Left. Up. Front. Up inverted. Front inverted. Now we're almost done. This one's already there for us. Now for... This is a good example. Yellow. Yellow is now on the right side. You do or the right algorithm for this. That algorithm is up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. As you can see, your entire second layer is solved, and that didn't disrupt your first layer. All right, you are now ready to solve your last layer. Now, before you do that, you have to do something similar to getting your green cross want to get a blue cross. Now, there's multiple different ways you can have this after solving your second layer. You can have it like this, with a blue line. You can have it with an L shape. Or, you can just have a dot. Now, if you have the L shape, or this, any shape at all, what you're going to do is hold it like this. Now, if you have the L shape, you want it so it's up on the left corner. So it looks like it's almost eating left corner. If you have a line, you want it to be horizontal. If you have just a dot, obviously it doesn't matter. So what you're going to want to do is hold it like that and do this algorithm. Front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. There. Now, well obviously this entire blue spot's solved, but I at least have a blue cross. Now what you want to do is match up the middle top layer pieces with the middle pieces. So this piece is red. I'm going to turn it so I get to red. Now you will have only two that match up. And this is, for me, this one doesn't match, this one doesn't match, this one doesn't match. This one is the only one that matches. You're going to want to turn until you get two that matches. So I have like that. Nope. Like this. Nope. This. Yep. I have this one that matches, and this one that matches. So these two, these two. Now to get these two here to match, you have to do this algorithm. And you want to hold it like this. So I have my one that matches here, my other one that matches here. The one, the one of them that matches, you want to be behind you, so on the back of the Rubik's Cube. And the other one, you want to be facing your right hand. So one here, and one here. What you're going to want to do is this algorithm. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. Now all you have to do is turn it, and all of those pieces should match up. Now your next and final, almost final step, is to getting these corner pieces here in the right spots. Now, for example, this piece right here, even though it's not completely solved, it is in the right corner. Because I have orange here, orange, and white here, and blue here. 
this one is not in the right spot because I have yellow, red, and blue. That's not right because red is not there. This one's not right because I have white, blue, and red. So what you're going to want to do is this algorithm. Now before you do the algorithm, if you have any that work or are solved, what you need to do is hold it so that one is in your bottom right corner here. And you do this algorithm. Up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. Now, you may need to do that twice, and some people like to think of it easier if they think of it this way. Up, away from you, up inverted, away from you, up, towards you, up inverted, towards you. There. Now, these two are solved. And this one is in the right spot. White, orange, blue. And this one is in the right spot, too. Yellow, red, and blue. Now your next and final step is almost the same, actually it is the same algorithm as one of the first ones. All you have to do is hold it with any of the unsolved corners in your bottom right corner and do this algorithm. Right, inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Now it may have looked like you just totally messed up your Rubik's Cube, but you didn't. You're going to want to do that until the blue gets to the top. And now all I have to do is take only the top layer and turn it until your next unsolved piece, which is this one, gets into the, your bottom right corner. You do the algorithm again. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Now all I have to do is a couple of steps. Let's turn it until it all matches up. Congratulations on solving your first Rubik's Cube.